a lot of this, this is like the back side of Iron Gates that I'm taking you through right now. And this is where it came down. By the time it hit Iron Gates, they had not had any more. sirens were very late going off so I think that contributed to the number of deaths that we had people had less warning but it was such a fast and furious storm that had it happened in a different part of the city it could have been much more catastrophic and so some of us thought we would do something brilliant and open a basement door that was one of our better brainy ideas. The train with a tree was going horizontal down the street. So we managed to get the door shut. Stayed where we were supposed to stay. Pastor was in the basement with our youth group next door. And um, the lady that went to Taco Bell to get the last several tacos for our youth group because we always fed our youth group every Sunday evening. She got the last bit of tacos as she was driving away. Taco Bell went up. All of this in this area, these are new. This is one of the harder hit areas. In our immediate area, we didn't see a lot right there at 19th and Connor. Um, and it was just a block over from us. But the next day, when I had the opportunity to go up Main Street, it was, it was just devastating. There's no other way to put it but to say devastating. It ripped your heart out came back down to the tornado area where all of our kids friends were and our grandkids friends were and not being able to find anybody or anything that was familiar it's pretty pretty hard to take it's brought us together in a way that we never were before it's taught people to work with one another for one another if one person has something the other doesn't they trade it's just really been positive. We're going to go up 26th Street, which was pretty heavily damaged. And that will take us over by the hospital as well, where the hospital was. Uh, for the residents of Moore, and I did get to help in a sense with that. My pastor asked me to help teach them how to set up their, rel their relief efforts as far as distribution goes you know, paperwork, what do they look for to make sure people aren't scamming it, because that does happen. They just need to be cautious. Make sure people that they're dealing with, if they're looking for funding or someone to do some work for them, that these people are licensed, make a left baby, licensed, bonded, and insured. Because a lot of people were taken use whatever community and federal resources you have available to you. Yes, this is off of Shepherd Acre coming up 26. You can see tree trunks there. Some of these, like that home over there was destroyed and they're just not coming back. Some of these have built back up nicely. Some of them had very little damage, which there was no rhyme or reason for any of it. not an experience I want to repeat but the people of Moore just need to know draw together stay rooted in their faith and um, I'm sorry I'm skipping around but this is St. Paul's and it was this whole front section was taken out in the tornado and this is all new are these all new and homes? these are all brand new all of this you're going to see down here is new mm -hmm. This was gone, just completely gone. They need to not keep looking at what happened. 
they need to watch the progress and thank God each day for the progress that is being made and let people come help you. It's okay to say, yes, I need some help. Then we went into recovery mode and that we were flooded with self-deployed volunteers, which are the most dangerous kind of volunteers you can have. They come without notice. They mean well in their heart. Okay, you up here. Pull in right here if you can. Right here. Or pull over right here for just a minute. Mm -hmm. Because this way you can see very well. Back here were doctor's offices. And there was nothing left. Right across the street is where St. John's had been just it's just total green space and the park over here is brand is is new what's the name of it cunningham park it okay. was completely wiped out there used to be these grand oak trees just absolutely beautiful park and they were gone but we were flooded with volunteers thousands all over town and of course what came with them were truckloads of supplies of everything you could ever need and also human spirit which you know we've we've called it the miracle of human spirit it's been it's just been fabulous how people knit together at one point we were housing 180 200 people in the church running a full distribution Three meals a day. We had people sleeping in pews, under pews, in between, on the floors, wherever they could find a spot to sleep. You know, those first few days were crucial. We needed help so people were sleeping in shifts and working in shifts. All of this up here is new. Over here, point of interest, this cross over here Where? is right up over here. Oh. It's the cross of St. Mary's. St. Mary's Catholic Church had been right there. And it is no more. But the cross stood through everything. It's like a really loud, dull roar. It sounds like a freight train almost. It's just coming through your head. It's, it's a lonely, sickening sound because you know there's something horrific happening. And what was going through your mind? Am I gonna live? Are my grandchildren okay? Are my friends okay? You know, and you know, you worry. It's funny, am I gonna live is one thought goes through your head, but you're worried about so many other people. You know, and when it's happening, when it's right there, air's heavy and it's just it, it's like it wants to suck the air out of you up here but yes we had we had women screaming <laughs> people crying people praying we had a few get nervous case of the giggles which some people that is just their reaction pretty well banded together and just hung up until we got out of the basement. And Walmart, when you came out, it looked like it was still there. The front wall was there and there was nothing behind it. Nothing. Huh. We had a young man. He was from the Congo. He's a student exchange person here. At the next light, you'll make a right. And he was in Walmart when it hit. And after it was over, he was climbing out of the racks. And as he was coming out of the racks, there was a deceased person with a wedding ring on. And to this day, he feels quite guilty that him, a single person, survived and this gentleman did not. Hearing kids call for mommy. 
no response or mommy calling for kids no response okay there there is a point where help can turn to hurt where you help so much and so often that people become dependent on other people doing for them and they become dependent expecting this to always be there for them instead of learning to do it for themselves again and um, I would just say be cautious and learn how to help but to educate this is our new high school going up And the P was left, so someone spray painted an H and an E, and they've called it Hope High School. Is that what its new name will be? We're not sure if that's exactly, it's been tossed around, that it will be Hope High School. Because so much, you know, Franklin Tech had been right behind the high school, and it was just twisted metal. Right up here on the right, this multicolored tree, a little girl decided it should be a spirit tree for the spirit of Joplin. And that's where one of our grocery stores used to sit. And that's all that's left of it. Was well, anyone in that? Oh yes, there were there were people in every place just about that was destroyed. But that was really a cool project that that little girl undertook. And everything you see down here is brand new as well. Can you describe the recovery process? It's actually been very rapid for the damage that, that was sustained and getting the demolition done and actual building started it's just gone so rapidly and seeing people get back in their homes or into a new home has been wonderful it's just been wonderful the children are still really greatly affected if it thunders or lightning they're very very scared when more happened everybody was ready to up and pack up and go and do and organize donations pastor calls me with a laundry list get all this ready and load the trailer I'm going to more so we sent you know diapers wipes water chainsaws hard hats gloves uh, weed eaters sleeping bags, cots. Those are the kind of things folks really needed, like right now. And uh, do you have any recommendations? Like any little tidbit of advice from a tornado survivor to another tornado survivor? One foot in front of the other. Okay. Keep going, keep smiling, look up. 